Hello fellow instructors. Um, today I'm going to share a tip of me using uh, Canvas, um, Grayscope, and a lockdown browser to give a secure paper and pencil uh, exam. And uh, um, let's say you want to give a paper and pencil exam, not multiple choice. Um, and we have a Canvas, and we have uh, a lockdown browser enabled on Canvas. Of course, we have a Grayscope, and we would like to use Grayscope's nice machine learning AI assisted, like grading, very convenient. Um, and also, we want to use Grayscope's uh, um, like a school sync uh, with Canvas. Um, I'm going to share a tip. So, for the student, uh, for example, for the, the first of all, the student need to have, of course, Canvas and Grayscope registered and enrolled in the class. Um, and uh, the student also needs a box app or something similar like Dropbox or Google Drive. Um, and the box app needs to be installed on both students' um, smartphone and their computer where they are um, working on their exam and uploading the scanned exam. And lastly, of course, the student need to scan the exam no matter. Um, normally, we can use a smartphone scanner, which is the most convenient. All right, so um, let's go and see um, how we can do it. All right, uh, we're currently at my Canvas dashboard. Um, I'm going to use this uh, sandbox class not to mess with these uh, real classes. So this is a sandbox class. I can do whatever I want here. And uh, I also have some mock student account uh, in this sandbox. So here we're going to use uh, quizzes to create the paper and pencil exams. Um, what I want to do is we create a quiz and we just create a dummy file upload question. So I'll name the quiz. Let's name it demo. Uh, paper and pencil exam right here okay and for the questions we just create a dummy uh, sorry we just create a dummy file upload question so let's give it 10 points um, 20 points and we upload our um, exam file here so let's upload, um, submit, and update question. And we save and publish uh, this quiz. If we click preview, we're going to see a file upload. There we go. And the students are going to upload um, whatever scan the PDF from the box, Google Drive, or Dropbox. Now we have um, set up the quiz. Then we're going to enable Lockdown Browser in the Lockdown Browser menu. So we just found, OK, right here. So we click Settings. For demonstrating purposes, I'm just going to enable uh, Lockdown Browser, but uh, not uh, the proctoring. Um, if you want to proctor, you can uh, require Responders Monitor. And in the advanced setting uh, right here, to make the, like the process smoother, we have to actually allow access to specific external web domain here. Um, for example, if we want a, a student have access to the files on Box, we have to um, add certain domains of Box. Here I just copy paste uh, some domains related to Box. Notice we also have to uh, include all the redirections not just like uh, um, the box apps URL. We have to also, for example, this is my school's uh, URL for Canvas. And this is uh, the logging page for my school and uh, a few other uh, redirection 
URLs. And then we click save and close. Okay, so now let's go back to quizzes. And we'll see that we have created a new exam uh, which requires Respondus Lockdown Browser. So we have set up everything on Canvas. The next step is we head to uh, Gradescope. Um, so let's go to assignment. Oh, by the way, this is a um, this is a sandbox class as well. So um, this is these are the real classes, and uh, um, okay, this is a sandbox class, which is linked to the sandbox class on Canvas. Um, so let's create a new assignment here. So let's create an assignment and uh, we want to create exam and quiz. So let's select PDF, which is the PDF um, we just had. And let's say this is demo uh, paper pencil exam. And the key here is actually the student uh, will not be uploading their scan exam here. Instead, uh, the students will upload um, their submission on Canvas, and then we can batch download their submission, and then we'll upload the submission here, which means this exam, the instructors will be uploading the PDFs, okay? And then uh, the graders, the TAs and us, we can uh, together grade the exam here using a grade scope. So we create assignment. And here um, we create name region. For example, the student can, this is like a template the student will follow, use this template and uh, they can put their name. Let's say um, here I said, please put name and ID approximately on top quarter of the first sheet of the exam. So basically the student will put their name here and ID here. And uh, then we'll see uh, in a moment that uh, what it is like when grading the exam we add a new question, and the question is uh, right here, which is question number one, the region for question number one. If the student put their work within this region, um, when grading, uh, this will automatically pop up. Then we add a new question, question number two, which is right here. Uh, find the Fourier series of x from minus pi to pi. Um, so we circle the region and we save outline. Okay, and here we are in this manage scans, which we'll show later what it is like when a student uploaded the exam. The next is just a way just link um, the exam. I'm sorry, link the assignment back to Canvas. So right here, uh, we click link and the gray scope, like I said, here is fetching the exam list. For example, I have lots of exam here and let's find the exam that is actually right here. So it's a demo paper pencil exam requires responders lockdown browser. And we link assignment. Okay, so we're done preparing everything um, on the part of um, Canvas and Grayscope. So in the next part of the video, uh, we're gonna show what it is like for a student um, to upload the exam. Um, however, because uh, if I uh, invoke the lockdown browser, um, everything will be shut down. Um, I can't record my screen. So I have to use uh, my camera pointing at the computer screen to show what it is like uh, for a student to uh, take the exam. Okay, right now uh, we're seeing my uh, computer screen. Um, so we start a lockdown browser.
and we log in to um, the canvas. Um, so we close applications. Um, right here, let's just log in my uh, WashU account. Um, and let me find my cell phone for the two-factor authorization. Alright, so we're in my um, canvas. Um, let's go into the sandbox. And um, let's switch to a student view right here. So let's click assignment. And we can see right here, where is our demo? Right here. So yeah, the demo paper pencil exam requires Respondus Lockdown Browser. And uh, um, let's take the quiz. So, okay. Um, so right here, this is um, the exam. This is what the student will see. And now let's uh, try to do the exam. So let me let me try to do the exam quickly on paper and pencil. Alright, so here I'm gonna pretend I'm a student and I'm working out the exam. So I have two uh, this dummy student. The first one is uh, John Von Newman. This is our exam, and uh, let's use the cell phone uh, to scan it. I'm actually using uh, another app, which is recommended by um, the uh, Grayscope. It's called actually um, it's actually called the Genius. Scam Plus. I'm not sure if uh, I'm showing the interface all right, but this is called the Genius Scam Plus. And we just press this little um, scan button right here. So let's scan it. And uh, um, so after scan, it will be like this. And we just hit uh, the sync button. All right here, so um, then we can see uh, all these options. For example, we'll choose box here. Now we have demonstrated that um, we scan the exam and the next step is to uh, just choose the scanned file and upload it uh, to Canvas. So choose a file and which should be the newest one, uh, this one. Right, so it says your file has been successfully uploaded. And, and then we just submit the quiz. Okay, so we have submitted. So let's leave student view. And uh, uh, let's leave just the uh, lockdown browser. All right, so we're now back at the canvas. And uh, uh, let's go to uh, the sandbox. Um, and let's go to the assignment. So right here we have this demo, uh, paper and pencil exam. And we can, we can actually download all files. Um, if we have multiple students, then uh, this will be a uh, like a file. For example, the submission zip. We just uh, unzip it, and now let's open the grade scope. So let's scroll down to this sandbox class we have. 
and this demo uh, paper pencil exam. So here, manage scans. We can actually like batch upload multiple PDF file here. Um, here, we have just one PDF here. So uh, I believe it's back in the downloaded folder. So it's um, fighting splitting point. You find it's pretty automatic. Like uh, it will actually recognize almost everything. So it says uh, uh, one active submission created automatically. Uh, then we can go on to manage submissions. So automatically assign student. For example, it recognize uh, the name. Uh, for example, it says John Von Newman because it recognized its uh, name so it's pretty neat and uh, um, then we can grade submission uh, for example let me let me um, put the interface a little bit smaller so um, let me grade it um, for example, uh, this is our problem one. Let's say it's totally one point and it's not correct. We can just add a rubric item says uh, minus 0.5. And uh, um, we can say, maybe say only um, characteristic equation. Characteristic equation, okay. So, and next on graded. So we have graded problem one, and then we graded problem two. So John Von Newman. Um, for example, this, let's say, um, almost correct, but no evaluation of integral. So uh, no evaluation of the Fourier um, integral. Example right here, and for example, uh, if the students just uh, try to memorize the formula, for example, this L here should be uh, pi. You can actually leave a comment here, uh, write a note here. You can say L should be uh, pi. Okay. So as we can see, it's uh, um, whoops. So as we can see here, it's automatically converted to LaTeX if we put a double dollar sign, and, which is pretty neat. So, and uh, this is um, for today's video. Uh, basically, let me summarize. Um, we introduced this workflow of uh, paper and pencil exam, um, secure proctored by lockdown browser and uh, um, and hope um, it's help and hope it's helpful for you um, during teaching in this uh, pandemic. Okay, good luck.